Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video I will show you how to integrate this 8 board with the Home Assistant so that you can use the ESP Home to integrate this board will be easily. Before we have made an A4 board integrated with the Home Assistant by ESP Home already, but that is used by Wi-Fi. This time I will show you how to integrate by the Ethernet uh, used by the ESP Home for Home Assistant. Okay, let's look at the Home Assistant. This is our dashboard of Home Assistant. Uh, this we have used for the demo. And this time we will install the ESP Home firstly. So you can go to the Supervise and the add-on store. We can search the ESP Home. We just input ESP Home. And you will find this add-on is ESP Home. Click this and click Install. And now we'll install online, download the ESP Home and install it. Okay, now you can see this install is complete. Now we can uh, enable this button that can show in slide. Uh, this will be have in ESP Home. And we can click Start, uh, enable the add-on. And now we can click the ESP Home. Uh, you will see this welcome information and we need to add the node. We can click this add node. And you can click your name like A8. And this is the Wi-Fi SSID and the password. Just input your loads. Okay, Connie. Uh, this is your information. This is my office load. SSID and the password. And the next, we have used ESP32. Uh, this is ESP32, so we can choose this one. And next, and close. And you will see, this is A8, uh, but uh, this color is red. The red, that means in, it's offline, because we have not configuration for this device. Uh, at this, Board. We have used the GPIO for extend, so we can see uh, this is for the internet and this is for digital input and digital output. So this video I will take the example for how to control one relay output uh, by the internet. So I will tell you the easiest way uh, to configure this relay output. So this is PCF8574. This chip is for extend the GPIO and this is for the internet. And before you can configure the ESP Home, uh, so you can see we have used this chip, I'll extend. So how to configure, uh, this is the information. You can see uh, the important is you need to define the address because the IIC chip have address. And uh, this is the number, uh, zero, uh, that means relay one, relay two, relay three, relay four, that means number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, just uh, and the mode uh, is output because we use for the relay, so the signal is output. If you use by the switch panel, you just choose uh, for input. And this is a chip uh, for extend the relay output. And you can also need to see uh, this Ethernet because we have used this Ethernet chip that is LAN 8720. Uh, this is Ethernet chip. This internet chip we have choose also can integrate to the ESP home. So the ESP Ethernet component, uh, it have already support. This you can see the type is LAN 8720. So this is the part. Uh, we just define this pin, uh, this pin, this pin, according to our diagram. Uh, so you can directly to use this ESP home with the Ethernet and also set the static IP and the gateway and the subnet. And this these two you need to see the document firstly. And then we begin to configure it. Uh, we just can edit. And you can see uh, this is the same information. Uh, we need to replace. And this is set for the ESP32 and many for configuration. So you can see uh, in our form, uh, you can find this uh, lesson 21, is network with the Home Assistant by ESP Home. You can click 
And we have already write the configuration uh, at here. So you just copy. That will be easy. You just copy and uh, paste. And uh, I have changed the name to. Uh, you need to change this static IP and the gateway and the subnet because in my compute, my IP is, is one from one. So you can change to your route by yourself. Uh, this I have set a static IP for the A8 board. You can change it to 200, uh, easy to remember. And this is the gateway and the save and the install. So now we will use this USB cable. The USB cable uh, from the ESP A8 board and connect with this Raspberry Pi a USB. So we can connect to this part and this cable from this and the power on for the A8 board. And now we can use the USB cable. So we choose this one uh, by the USB to the server. And this is the device have detect the USB and click. Uh, it began to download. Now we just to waiting. Now it began to write flash. Okay, now it's successfully. You can see uh, this information have uh, output. Uh, you can see this is the address we have set and uh, the host name and uh, uh, many information have uh, successfully displayed. So we can click stop. And now you can see uh, this color is become green. Now we can click ESP home. Now we can click configuration and integration. And you can click the device and click A8. Uh, you will see uh, the entity is automatically generated. This is a light one. You can see I can turn on and then turn off. Uh, but you can see this is the opposite. You can set the configuration to change the state. Uh, now we can just add to the love lens. Just add it to the dashboard. And light one and add it to UI. And now we can go to Click overview, uh, you can see this is the light. Uh, we can use this set uh, invert to adjust uh, the state because now it's opposite. We can copy and just paste just uh, ESP home and edit. And this is the number. And we can let the invert is true. So this is number one is for this chip number one. You can use uh, the zero uh, replace the one. That means relay two. Uh, we can set to the true. Then we can save and install uh, by the USB download or overwrite it. The second time uh, you. Download the freeware will be quickly than the first time. Uh, okay, now it's complete. We can click stop and wait for a moment. Uh, this will become green. It's online. And now you can go to dashboard and you can see the switch like this on is turn red and off is turn off. So this is state is correct. On, off. On, off. So now you can remove this USB cable. This cable just used by the download of freshware. And you can remove this USB cable. So that the A8 board is working by the Ethernet. So you can see, I can use this uh, home assistant to turn on and turn off. On, off, on, off. So this is. Uh, Right, it's working fine. Uh, if you have only one, just by this way to integrate one channel relay. And if you have uh, this, the two to seven, 
to it, uh, you just edit and copy, just copy some settings, uh, just copy paste, copy paste, and you can create a many relay output. Uh, it can have eight relay channel uh, used by this way. Okay, this is how to integrate uh, the ESP32 uh, by the, this LAN and Ethernet cable for Home Assistant uh, by uh, this ESP Home. Thanks for watching.